This literature map, it took ChatGPT just 20 minutes to create that. Normally, that's a full day of manual work, reading, extracting, and putting together all that information. The secret isn't just ChatGPT, it's AI agent mode. In this video, I'll show you seven research-ready AI agent mode prompts that you can use for your systematic literature reviews, analyze method, and even simulate peer review panels. These aren't fluffy prompts. They're structured instructions that do real academic work while you do the thinking. But the one hack that saves me most time is also the hack that people often misuse. Let's start right there. Just a quick introduction if you don't know me yet. Hi, I'm Ainur. I'm a third year PhD student at Imperial College London and I made it my mission to teach you every secret I know in AI and academia video by video for all my social media channels. Now let's dive right into the video. Before we go and move on to the seven prompts that I'm going to show you, let's first understand what the difference is between starting a chat in ChatGPT versus using the agent mode in ChatGPT. So I'm pretty sure you're already familiar with the chat mode in ChatGPT. You just chat, you get a task done, it goes back and forth until ChatGPT completes the task that you've given them. AI agent mode is a bit different. If you're in academia, think of it like a bachelor or master student that does their thesis, right? You basically give that student a task, you give it clear instructions, you say, go to the lab, do this experiment, use these tools, until you accomplish these results and then come back to me with the reports. That's the task you give them. So you define the task scope, you define the different steps that the student has to go through to achieve that goal, and you define a clear ending of the task. You say once you've done this, then you come back with the results. And this is what AI agent mode does. So you basically have some kind of mundane task that doesn't require much brain juice of you, but you just need it to get done. And in order to get it done, that AI our agent has to go and follow different steps. And that's what you can set up in agent mode. And what happens is an entire desktop, so this AI agent creates a desktop, a work environment for itself, and then it gets to work. It starts working on that exercise, and this can continue for minutes and even 10 or 20 minutes, uh, depending on how complex the task is. So you can use this for everyday work, like go find me the cheapest uh, plane ticket to, I don't know, to the US, in this date, blah, 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 and then go buy that ticket for me and schedule that in my Google Calendar and send me a reminder via email one week before the flight is set due, for example. Right? These are like specific steps that you can teach that AI agent to do. Now, this is all cool, but how can we apply this in an academic context? How can this help us researchers or young academics to pursue our research goals? And that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to give you seven prompts as an inspiration, but also ready to use for your work. And you can basically start there and uh, keep exploring it further for your own ideas as well. So the first agent that we're going to set up is to create a comprehensive literature mapping agent. Each AI agent needs to have these seven rules. It needs to have a role, an objective, an input, a process, and output, constraints, and stop rules. And that's important for every prompt that we give it. So for our literature mapping AI agent, I came up with this prompt. Act as a systematic review specialist. That's the role. Search and analyze topic, insert your topic, from 2000 to 2025. That's the objective. Create a comparison table with author, year, methodology, sample size, key findings, limitations. That's the output. Identify three major research gaps and rank them by feasibility for a PhD project. Cite all sources. And this is basically the stop rule. So once it's accomplished all of that, the AI agent can stop working. So doing all of this would take you 20 plus hours, maybe even days to get it done. And this AI agent will get it done in only 20 minutes max. It's a great way to kickstart your literature review journey. Moving on to hack number two, methodology design evaluator. So this hack looks at which methods might be best for your research case. So you basically give it like three different methods to conduct your experiment and then you want the AI agent to work out which of these would be a great fit to continue and actually pursue the experiments, right? Again, I've put the prompt right here. This prompt uses the seven-step method that each AI agent prompt should have, giving it a clear role, an objective, an input, an output, constraints, and a reason or a moment to break off the task. That's very important. So you can screenshot this prompt right here if you need it. So this agent helps you to simulate expert perspectives that you didn't have without the agent. So you looked at these three methods, you did some reading into it, then you came up with your ideas of what might be a good fit for your experiment. But this one really pushes it a bit 
bit further and maybe like find things that you didn't see um, from your own research. So it's a great way to look at these methods, uh, really make sure that you're pursuing a good road with your experiments before you get started and invest so much time into conducting these experiments. The third prompt is a grant proposal critic agent. So this is perfect for when you submit your grant proposal. So I've put the prompt again on the screen for you to screenshot and use for yourself. This is great to simulate again this expert feedback. So if you have that grant proposal ready and you want to submit it and then you can just define on who's in that panel of expert reviewers and it will point and find out the weaknesses of your grant proposal. I really make sure that uh, your grant proposal is strong enough to make it through the next rounds. Prompt number four is to build an AI agent that is a theoretical framework builder. So what it does is you again prompt is here for you to read slowly pause the video but what it does is it helps you if you have method one or theory one in your PhD and theory two and you kind of want to combine it into one framework then this prompt really helps you to pull the strings and yeah combine these methods so in a way that it makes sense and it's great because it can access multiple theoretical sources identify connections and propose strategies to combine these theories and in the end you have an integrated model that you can then use lots of time saved there now ai agent number five we're gonna love it research gap finder and hypothesis generator we've all been there read so many papers and then you end up asking yourself oh, what is the research gap what can i do research on what is missing in this research landscape right again for that here's the prompt for you to use to set up that ai agent but why is it so great let me tell you this ai agent performs deep comparative analysis across multiple papers and it identifies patterns and gaps throughout this collective reading that it does. It tags all these gaps by types and generates hypotheses that you can then work on in the future. Again, this task would have costed so many hours of work and it's done with an AI agent in just a couple minutes. Prompt number six is an AI agent that is a multi-study data synthesizer. So what does that mean? Again, prompt is here for you to use. This AI agent can systematically compare and extract quantitative data across many studies. It can identify patterns that human readers might miss. So think of this like that. If you have like so many numbers to juggle with, you have like these studies that you conducted, lots of numbers, lots of patterns, there is a very high possibility that you're just going to miss some of the patterns that could be extracted from there. And with this AI agent, it can help you to discover more than what you see by looking at that data. It applies inclusion exclusion criteria and creates narrative synthesis with explicit uncertainty moving on to the final ai agent prompt and that's a journal specific abstract optimizer for that the prompt again is here on the screen so what this ai agent does is it analyzes multiple papers from that journal and then adjusts your abstract so that it fits to the journal and by that it increases the likelihood of getting accepted by the journal so many hours saved because you can just do this copy paste it for all kinds of journals that you want to submit your paper to and it just saves you a lot of time by doing that. So those were my seven AI agent prompts. What's very important is AI still hallucinates so you really have to make sure that you check every single reference AI generates. ChatGPT at the moment has like a about like 80% citation accuracy. This still means that every fifth reference is wrong and hallucinated. So be careful about that. Then use the five block framework if you want to create your own prompts, which means task, context, references, output, and constraints. Also be specific about your constraints because we want AI to lead, we want to lead the AI agent into the right path so that it does not, you know, look at all kinds of different things that it has access to. Be specific, give it a time range or author range, be specific about the keywords that you need, and this all contributes to better prompts and then better results. Also, make sure to save and refine your prompts because these prompts are probably going to use them all the time in your research career, and if one prompt works, then make sure to save it so that you can use it over and over again. And finally, this goes without saying, but treat all outputs as sophisticated drafts. So they're still drafts. Make sure to go over them again and adjust them and make them really fit perfectly to what you're doing. All right, I hope you find this video useful. Make sure to check out the AI agent mode in ChatGPT. I think it's a great tool to help you with your work. If you found this video useful, please share, like, subscribe.
This is still a baby channel. Every single engagement means a lot for this channel to grow and produce better video for you guys. And if you haven't done so already, check out my Instagram channel because I post daily useful PhD tips, hacks, AI tips on there. Don't miss out on those. And apart from that, be safe wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.